Hi. I'm gonna wait a moment or two. feeling a hundred um, just I think my allergies are really bad so it's kind of like on the borderline it's like you, you feel like it might be catching something it's like one of those things so let me go ahead and sage the hell out of stomping things stomping things Hope you guys are doing well. <sighs> okay, just gonna wait another moment or two before I start doing the unboxing on this bitch. <sighs> I think things are kind of winding down like energy wise. It's kind of like the tail end of things. So I think things are gonna be starting to come back on track, you know? It better be. God damn it, Leo King. Tell me things get better. Tell me things get better. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. <sighs> so I'm gonna go ahead and do the unboxing. This is for the Aquarius Tarot. This is by Dawn Aquarius. Aquarius. So let me go ahead and start opening this bitch. I need scissors, because I need an adult. There we go. And okay. So we have the Aquarius Tarot deck. Okay. 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 Very nice. The quality of paper seems pretty good so far. So this is what the back of the deck looks like. Right? Okay. And it's decent size. It's, you know, like an average size for a tarot deck. I have small hands. Girl, what the fuck's up? I just started, bitch. I just started. So, oh, I didn't even have a chance to show, real quick, before I start doing the unboxing, I didn't have a chance to show you some of the cool shit that I bought on Sunday. So, I bought this nice necklace. And it's made out of, like, I think it's like yak bones or something. And then I got this skull stone and I got this big ass one. And then I get one of these thingamadoos. So, there we go, okay. And I got a reading. Okay, so enough about that. Let's get it right what we're here for. Is the goddamn unboxing and astrology readings on this shit. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. So we have the full card. We have the magician. We have the high priestess. I really like this. I'm liking this so far. It's very um Break Zappa, you know? Very Muppets, you know? We got the Epperets. 
We got the Emperor. Okay, I'm gonna do this a little bit differently. The Hierophant. Hi! We've got, ooh, the Lovers. And then we've got the Chariot. We've got Strength Card. We've got the Hermit. Got the Wheel of Fortune. Got Justice. We got the Hangman. Yeah, I'm liking this. The Death Card. Temperance. Devil Card. I like it how it's very similar. If you notice a lot in tarot, I mean, the more that you kind of look at tarot cards, the more you kind of see similarities. Like, look, the lovers and the devil card are very similar. If you notice with a lot of um, tarot cards, you know, and that's a metaphor. Because love and hate, all that kind of shit, right? Groovy, groovy. Let's see. So we got the tower card. Hello. We got the star card. We've got the moon card. We've got the sun card. We've got judgment. We've got the world card. Okay, so now we're going into suits. We've got the Ace of Wands here. We've got the Two of Wands. We've got the Three of Wands. You know, I will say it's, it's sticking to be very traditional. And yeah, the colors are different. I, I like the artwork. But so far, I'm kind of wanting a little bit more. Like, I was really hoping that the artist would kind of do their interpretation of certain cards, you know? I mean, the artwork is good. I really like it. It's just... I would say, like, at least with this, because these are kind of similar decks, right? Because they're all kind of like the 60s, 70s trippy shit, right? You know, the difference, though, is with this artist, at least, they changed a few things that fit their personalities, their versions of certain cards. So I was just kind of hoping like this artist would go like a little bit past that. It's a beautiful deck though, I really like it. So that's just like, that's just like my observation. So, cause I own quite a few decks. So there we go. So we got the four of wands here. We've got the Five of Wands. We've got the Six of Wands. We've got the Seven of Wands. I think this deck would be awesome if you are looking for a very traditional deck. Even if you're looking for like my first tarot deck, you know? Um, because I always believe if you ever buy your first tarot deck, it should be a very traditional, it should be a traditional deck. It should not be a unique deck you should learn the basics you know learn the fundamentals first before you start um diving into other decks so um but anyways we got eight of wands nine of wands ten of wands and then we got the page of wands We've got the Knight of Wands, Queen of Wands, 
king of wands ace of cups we got the two of cups three of cups four of cups five of cups six of cups seven of cups eight of cups nine of cups ten of cups okay and then we got the page of cups and we've got the knight of cups queen of cups You know what? Um, go on Etsy. Like, I'm not even kidding. Go on Etsy. That's where I buy a lot of my tarot decks. Um, is from Etsy. I like finding unique uh, decks from artists. Um, right now, I saw online they do have this uh, the um, reboot of Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Somebody made a tarot deck from that. Um, just about almost anything you can think of. There's probably a tarot deck for it. You know. Or if not, you just wait for a little bit and somebody will create one. Or fuck it, you just create one, you know? But that would be good. Somebody makes like a Sunday, like a Saturday, you know, Saturday, cart, like a Saturday morning cartoon tarot deck or something like that. Okay. And we've got the King of Cups. We've got the Ace of Swords. Two of Swords. The Three of Swords. Yeah, I, I thought the deck was unique, but I don't really watch the show, which I know everyone's like, what do you mean you don't watch the show? I've only saw one episode, and I was like, eh, it's all right, you know? Um, I watched, no, like two episodes, and I was like, eh, all right. But I know I'll try to watch it more, but so far, I'm just like, okay, okay. So we got the four of swords, <laughs> five of swords, six of swords, seven of swords, eight of swords. The one thing about this, when you go on Etsy, you're going to be paying more money. That's the thing. Because if you go on you know, Amazon, you can find a deck that's like around 15 bucks, 25, $35, right? You know, 40 bucks, that's like kind of splurging, but uh, people, you're gonna be spending a little, you're gonna be spending a little bit more because you're spending a lot of quality. Um, you're spending quality for one. Um, also, you're, you're paying for a uniqueness of a deck. You know, it's not like you can go on Amazon, you can go into any like spiritual shop and just buy like, all the other generic brands that are kind of out there, you know? Um, you want something that's a little bit you, a little bit more personality, you know? And the person puts a lot of time and effort creating a shit ton of cards. So just put that in perspective. Okay, I should get back into this. I'm giving you guys like Tarot 101 or whatever, or grinding my gear shit. Okay, um, okay, so we got the Nine of Swords. And then we got the Ten of Swords. Page of Swords, Knight of Swords, we got the Queen of Swords, King of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, Two Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. 
and king of pentacles. Okay, so let me... Okay. So I did something a little bit different to make the shuffling a little bit easier. So let me go ahead and take a moment for me to shuffle the cards to mix them up a little bit. Um, I kind of put them in separate little piles, kind of mix it up that way to kind of speed things along, but I also want to transfer my energy into this shift. So just give me a moment and then I will start doing astrology readings. a spiritual awakening and that's when you finally like uh, get out of like a depressive mode and things are kind of going to be aligning very right judgment card keeps on popping out i'm telling you there's some sort of rebirth or rebranding there's some sort of reunion that's happening here okay. so let's go ahead and start this so earth signs capricorn taurus virgo Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Capricorn. Taurus. And Virgo. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the deck. There we go. Voila. So I've got the King of Swords here. Okay. Could be an Aquarius vibe. What's going on here? There could be some sort of legal action, some court, a sort of court process that's going on. Somebody's being very fair and diplomatic about a situation when, you know, they could be losing their shit and going off on you. Or you on them. Very cool, very calculated. Very diplomatic. And there's some good karma coming your way. So Capricorn, okay, Taurus. cards that popped up, but the double card did. Okay. Okay. Same message. Okay. And Virgo. Okay, those are way too many cards. So bottom of the deck, I have the Knight of Cups here. So this could be a Scorpio vibe, but somebody's, uh, I'm seeing Pisces as well. I'm seeing somebody's making an offer, somebody that really genuinely cares for you. This could be romantic, it does not have to be. Pisces, Scorpio, I'm also seeing Aquarius here, a little bit of Libra. But somebody does find you attractive. There is some sort of age difference between the two. There's gonna be some sort of social setting. That's where kind of things click. It could be pertaining to like a custody battle. Okay. So. Somebody could be getting married too. Okay. 
Alrighty then, so Capricorn, I've got the Lover's card here, I've got the Nine of Pentacles, and I've got the King of Cups. Okay, so we've got two kings here, so this is about power. So for some of you, you may be encountering, um, you may be dealing with another man, another individual for a small percentage of you. This could be a homosexual relationship. You're trying to choose between a younger or an uh, older, a younger and or older man. Somebody could be on the DL in their relationship where somebody, you know, where somebody is having like a secret homosexual relationship. There's going to be a message from above. It could be dealing with a Gemini here, but there is some sort of choice. There is some sort of union that's happening here. Now, a Gemini could be making a love offer, or you could be making a love offer to them. But this individual is very single and very set in their ways, you know? It could also be you as well, very independent, you know, kind of free as a bird. Somebody could be making an offer and someone is politely declining, you know? We do have the King of Cups. There is still love there. There is still love there. So it's like for some of you, it's like some of you could be pining over someone. For others, you could be pining, like others, somebody else could be pining over you. There could be somebody that's married or in a committed relationship. And they see somebody like at work, somebody that they're attracted to and somebody that's young or whatnot. And they're starting to catch like feels for the individual. Okay. Taurus. So I've got the Wheel of Fortune here. I've got the High Priestess. And I've got the Seven of Cups. Okay. So originally the Devil card popped up. Um, but I didn't take that card because it was shit other cards and then a very similar card that popped up. So, um, so right now you're going through some good changes right now. So things are looking up male house and there's been some good, like life has been treating you pretty nicely where it's just little small things kind of like lines up from here to there, you know? So it's like a nice little treat here, a nice little treat here, a nice little treat here, you know? Um, and you've been doing very well. Now you've been dealing with probably like you're dealing with somebody that's very intuitive. You could be a light worker. Um, somebody could be a light work, like it's like somebody is psychic, very intuitive. Somebody is holding a secret. Somebody is hiding an addiction. It could be alcohol, drug addiction. It could be anything. It could be gambling. Somebody is like on a high. Because things are going really well with you. And you love it. You love the thrill of it. Some of you could be dating multiple people. You could be dating somebody on the DL. Or somebody could be hiding the fact that they're in a relationship. Interesting, Taurus. Okay, now Virgo. So we've got the Six of uh, Pentacles, we've got the Five of Swords, and we've got the Seven of Pentacles, okay? So, Virgo, you have like a really big heart, you know? And you have really good intentions, and you do give. You give a lot of your time, your energy, it takes a lot for you to manifest what you want and what you need. And you like helping others. You do, you're a good person and you like helping others. But sometimes people take advantage of that or they drain you, you know, and they drain your, your energy, your time, your money, things like that, you know? And there's not enough give and take here. Something's gonna be said, something's gonna be done. 
it could be cross somebody crossed a line somebody took advantage of the situation somebody took advantage of you somebody manipulated your feelings because you're very patient. You're willing to wait for whatever is holding you back. Because this is you just kind of cutting through shit that does not serve you. You know, very matter of fact. It's not very, it's not mean. It's like, it's nothing business. It's, it's, it's nothing personal. It's just business. That's what I'm getting here. This could be like a family member stealing money from you. Like somebody could have said that they paid for rent, you know, and then you find out that they never paid for rent. They just pocketed up money. I don't know why I got that, but I got that. Somebody has certain intentions for love. You know, I'm saying like maybe somebody was like friend zoned, you know. Okay. Interesting. Let me take my drink. Alrighty then, so let's go ahead and do air sign. So Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Let's find out what is going on with you guys. Okay, the Knight of Cups popped out. So there is a romantic offer that's coming your way. You may be in a situation where you're gonna be social. Um, you're gonna be hanging out at like maybe like a work event it could be like a corporate barbecue party or some shit like that fucking go you know you're gonna be encountering somebody i'm telling you you're gonna be encountering somebody you're gonna have a hard crush on someone like this person's gonna like you're gonna go stupid over this individual or they're gonna go stupid over you like they're gonna see you as this magnificent goddess so let's find out what is going on libra gemini aquarius Mama son, what you doing? Oh, I'm playing with the box. Libra Gemini Aquarius. Libra Gemini Aquarius. And Libra Gemini Aquarius. Perfect. So, cutting the deck. Okay. So, the bottom of the deck I have, it is the Four of Cups. Okay. So, some of you guys are throwing a fucking pity party. You're biding your time. You're waiting for something. You're waiting for the other shoe to drop. It's like, I'm waiting, universe. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for something better to come along. Because all you've given me is garbage. <laughs> it's like, it has to be, it's like, hmm, I don't want, I don't want to do that. I want to be a Karen. I want to go into a store and speak to their manager. Like, that's what that kind of vibe is, right? So let's find out what the fuck you're doing while you're acting like a Karen. So, Libra. Find out what's going on with you. See, Gemini's and Aquarius's readings have been very interesting, especially on YouTube. There is some weird fucking shit that's going on between the both of them. Usually it's like an Aries and a Pisces are always on again, off again, on again, off again, but things have been stepped up for a bit. I think it's kind of interesting how sometimes signs will go through little phases. Okay. Let's see how long this will last. Okay. So, bottom of the deck I have is the Emperor here. This is Aries vibe. Some of you are waiting for your sugar daddy to come in. That's exactly what the shit is. Somebody is waiting for your sugar daddy to come in. You're like, oh, I'm waiting for my knight in shining armor. Like, I'm waiting for my bitch goddess, right? Hi, mama. Some of you are waiting on a promotion, a pay raise, like a lead in a role like in an acting role or something. 
this commanding shit. You're just fucking waiting for it. You're waiting for your time to come. You're like, when is this motherfucker gonna come into my life? Because I need a sugar daddy. Okay. So. Libra, I've got the Eight of Pentacles here. I've got the Queen of Swords. And I've got the Eight of Wands. Okay, so there's two eights. So this is about communication. Uh, some of you are going to be traveling for work. Um, you've been really focused on you. Libra, you've been focusing on work, um, trying to move up, trying to level up in life. You're just kind of cutting things that don't serve you, you know? You've kind of cut yourself off from the world, you know, because it's just like, well, you have all these options, Libra, and they're all good options, and like somebody's offering, offering something to you, and you don't even want to fucking take it. You know, because it's just like, I don't want that though. You're just. You're communicating. Um, so it's not like you're a complete hermit here. But you're just really focused on your work. You're making your message very clear. Because right now the prime directive is focusing on work. If you're trying to start a business, um, it's going really well. Um, some of you may be working out, hitting the gym. Okay. Gemini. So we got the two of wands here. We've got the sun card and we've got the knight of swords. Okay, so we got Leo, we got Aquarius here. We also got, we got all the elements. So, so Jim and I, you've got options, you've got choices. There's like, there's other fish in the sea, but you're just like, I'm not having anything of it. It's like, I want that, like, I want this or I'm not having it at all, you know? Or it's like you've got burned a few times, so now you don't want any offers that's coming in. Because what you want, you want the supreme daddy, right? You want the supreme daddy. You may be dealing with somebody that's long distance. Um, there is some sort of communication. You are, despite of being hesitant, you know, you're still trying to move things forward. So it's not like you're completely closed off. You're extremely hesitant. It's like one foot is already out the door. Because you're kind of leaving one thing and moving towards happiness. Because this is what you're trying to obtain overall is your own personal happiness. You want that joy, you want that abundance. If some of you want a family, you can have that. With the Knight of Swords, there's going to be some very quick news that comes your way. This is going to be very sudden, out of the blue. Something is going to be very rushed, or you're going to feel like you want to rush into this. Okay. Aquarius, I've got the Four of Pentacles. I've got the Hermit card, and I've got the Page of Pentacles. Okay, so you, so I got two fours here. So that's about attainment. Some, of, if you're single, you are not doing shit. You're not leaving your house. You're not doing dick. Some of you are pouting. Some of you are just really focused on yourself, focusing on work. Some of you may be speaking to like a counselor or a therapist. I'm seeing some of you having daddy issues. And if you're an older gentleman with beard and you kind of have like, you know, like salt and pepper daddy hair or something like that, or like white hair, you probably have a lot of baggage. I mean, things are very hopeful, you know, 
because you're trying to seek answers, right? Because you're trying to discover yourself. You're trying to find out who you really are, what you really want. The heart of the matter, you. What do you want overall, human, right? And Page of Pentacles, there could be a pregnancy for a very small percentage of you. Um, some of you are gonna get that raise or that position, that job that you want. Somebody is gonna try to make an offer or you may try to make an offer, like a baby step. Like you may download a dating app or you may ask somebody out for coffee, you know? So it's that kind of thing. Okay, so let's go ahead and do water signs. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay. The Six of Cups. So somebody from your past may be coming back. Yeah, it's gonna be an ex that's gonna be coming back. They just want dick. They're gonna send you a fucking dick pic. So just fucking ignore that shit. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay. So, bottom of the deck I have, it is the Nine of Pentacles here. So some of you are just really focused on yourself. Focusing on money, making that shit rain. Uh, focusing on you, you may be, you know, get in shape exercising, eating healthier. You just been doing you, focusing on your hobbies, your activities. You know, some of you may have like an animal collection, you know, but you're doing really well. Very comfortable, okay with yourself and your skin that you're in. And you're kind of like, I already got everything that I want, you know, but maybe I want a little bit more. So let's go ahead and find out what is going on. So cancer, You get an additional card, okay? Um, Pisces. I have it is the five of wands here there's a conflict this is a change that's happening now some of you are so popular you're fighting off dick left and right right or you're fighting off the ladies whomever whatever you whatever you prefer whatever orifices you prefer they're all over you like stink on shit right um yeah, because I have the two of cups from the bottom there. There is some sort of like weird love triangle that's going on here. Okay, so let's get into this, Cancer. You got one extra card. So we've got the eight of cups reverse. We've got the world card reverse. We've got the high priestess and we got the ace of wands. Okay. So You're clearly not over someone or someone from the past is gonna be trying to communicate with you. They're gonna kind of give you a please, baby, please, baby, 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 please. There was a lot of conflict that you had with this individual. This could be romantic, does not, not necessarily have to be. I'm seeing someone that's very independent, that has their own shit, doing their own thing, and then somebody coming back and trying to fuck up your shit. And you knew that this was gonna happen. Like you've been feeling it for a while in your bones, you know, like some shit was gonna go down. Um, like you thought it was gonna be the last of them or the last of the situation and it's not because they keep on rearing their ugly fucking head around. Some of, um, there could be like, um, trying to relocate, it's not happening at the moment. 
high priestess here. Okay, this is also your vibe here. Also Pisces as well. There is something that you, you're not aware of. Now, I'm saying for a very small percentage of you, there's another woman, there's somebody else involved, you know? There could be some sort of one night stand. And they could be hooking up with somebody that's single. There's something that's gonna be revealed. Um, you've been kind of keeping it a secret for a while or they've been kind of keeping it for a while. Somebody may be pregnant. Uh, somebody may have gotten a new job. They may have gotten a new promotion. They, they got their business license. They're, get, they're launching off their business. Um, This is like, I'm seeing somebody having like in a secret affair or a secret, or like, or somebody, somebody is single and they don't want others to know that they're dating someone. That was fucking crazy. Pisces, I've got the four of cops, excuse me, four of swords. I've got the justice card and the king of swords reverse for you guys, Pisces. Um, now, for a small percentage of you, Pisces, I'm saying that you're going to court and you're going to jail. You like you broke your probation, okay? Because this, I'm seeing this is more okay. I'm gonna go off on this tangent and then I'm gonna go and see if I can pick up any other injury, it, it, uh, other energy. But this is gonna be a very specific reading for like maybe one or two, right? Um, so I'm seeing you're independent, doing your own thing. You may have had some side hustle. Maybe you're doing some illegal shit on the side, selling some shit that you were not supposed to, right? Doing some shit that you're not supposed to. So it's like you took a break. You were on house arrest. You had an ankle bracelet, whatever. So you decided to break your probation for whatever fucking reason because you thought that you were just some cool fucking shit and you don't need to do dick, right? And this is the law putting the smack down on your candy ass, right? Some of you are going to jail. Some of you are going to federal prison. Like the judge was not like, whatever you did, you pissed him the fuck off. This is karma, like karma's, karma's a bitch. Karma's a bitch, that's what I'm saying. Okay. So now I've got the legal shit out of the way. Let me go ahead and go into, I'm saying for some of you, you were taking a break for being single, wanting to be independent, doing your own thing, focusing on work, focusing on improving yourself. Some of you were like hitting the gym, working out. Some of you were just trying to be top dog out of spite because you were pissed off at someone. Someone just did something that pissed you the fuck off. So you wanted to like, you want to, one up them, you know, and not like one up them by fucking their best friend or some shit like that. No, you just want to one up them in life and everything, right? You want to dominate in everything because the person that you really loved and cared for just pissed you the fuck off, right? So you're taking a break. You may be recovering from like workman's comp or some sort of injury that's going on. Some of you may be dealing with some sort of deep clinical depression, you know, that you're trying to fight off. Um, there's some sort of karma. You may have rushed this with emotions instead of logically. It was like somebody cut someone out of their life. Somebody could have ended a marriage, a relationship. Somebody cut off a Libra or an Aquarius because you pissed off whomever. Shit. Okay, and Scorpio. So I got the chariot card here. I've got the five of cups reverse and I've got the star card. Fucking eight, yes. So some of you relocated, you got a job working in, um, it could be working in a public sector, it could be for government, it could be for city, for like your county, whatever. It's like a district. I'm seeing like two cats. Somebody wears their heart on their sleeve. And they're moving towards victory, so you had this huge fight with somebody that you really loved. 
it's fucking ex that you still have communications with, which I don't know why you have that shit, but whatever. Because, of course, you're a Scorpio, you gotta be, like, stalkerish, right? You always gotta be up in that shit. So you're enjoying being single. You may not like the fact that you or the other individual may not like the fact that you're single and you're enjoying it. Because it's like, you moved, you relocated, like, new me, who dish? Who the fuck is dish? Like, who are you? Bye-bye. Oh, you like the Beatles song, Hello? Well, I remember it says, bye-bye. Bye-bye. That's what that is. Because with the Five of Cups, you move the fuck on. You're no longer feeling sorry for yourself. You're no longer being fucking Dante Higgs bitching about, like, I'm not even supposed to be here today. You're no longer being a pussy. You decided to step the fuck up. You stepped your pussy up, right? And with the star card, Aquarius, there's strong Aquarius up in this bitch with you guys. This is you making your wish. This is you manifesting, growing, learning, evolving. This is you learning to heal yourself. For some of you, you just had to relocate maybe to a different town, a different city. Um, maybe you had a, a transfer to like a different department or maybe to a different branch. And once you've done that, you've been able to detach and be more comfortable, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and do fire signs. Hopefully I can complete fire signs by within the hour mark, we'll see. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So overall vibe for fire signs, I got the three of pentacles here. Some of you may be trying to get a job, a promotion, that's gonna come through. Um, you may have passed your resume to someone and you know that person, they may have not thought that you were the right fit for a position, but they may have thought that you would fit better elsewhere. So maybe they hired you for another position or referred you to somebody else, you know? Um, I'm seeing for some of you, it's a pregnancy. I'm seeing a collaboration. There is a, like an age difference that you're working with. There's some sort of contract and agreement here. Um, but this is good things with business and with friends. Some of you are kind of going out, socializing a bit. So let's go ahead and dive into this Aries. Okay. All righty then. Get an additional card. Oh. Ahead and we'll do that one again. So, Leo, let's go ahead and try that again. Hi, Libby! So, Leo. Okay. And Sagittarius. So the bottom of the deck I have is the page of pentacles here. So some of you are getting a job offer. Some of you are getting, like there's pregnancy that's happening here. Um, there is some sort of proposal, maybe a marriage offer. Um, this is some sort of contract agreement. There may be some sort of apprenticeship. That's why you're kind of being trained by somebody that's older, that's been in the business for quite some time. They're showing you the ropes and you're picking shit up really, really fucking quickly. So, yes, yes you are, yes you are, girl. So, we've got this. So now we've got Aries, I've got the Wheel of Fortune, I've got the Justice card reverse, I've got the Four of Cups, and I've got the King of Swords reverse. Okay, some of you are very happy that things are looking up Millhouse, okay? It's like finally a fucking upswing with you guys. Your divorce went through, whatever, like, court battle, whatever shit that happened. Uh, if you are an Aries dude, it may have not worked out in your favor with the divorce. Um, you may not feel like you, it was very fair. Somebody did not, uh, you may have not gotten the promotion that you wanted. They may have given it to someone else. 
Because it's like, this is weird because it's like, we have the, this is a new beginning. And it's because it's ending of a chapter with like a, with like a, you left one job and moved to another. Um, and there's had to be to make sure that, um, by leaving the contract or the obligation, things were on the up and up. Now, this is you or somebody else fucking pouting. They don't like the fact that you're moving up. But for whatever reason, you're kind of like still in this limbo state. But you're going to get out of that really quickly with the King of Swords here with an Aquarius vibe because you're going to be cutting that shit out. It's like, bye-bye, that shit no longer serves me. I am no longer in limbo. Fuck this shit. Now, Leo, I've got the Queen of Cups reverse. I've got the Lover's card. And I've got the Ace of Swords. Fucking A. Okay. So you're dealing with a Cancer, a Pisces. I'm seeing fucking Gemini, of course. And Earth signs. So some of you guys are being kind of like an emotional fucking cripple. Some of you are going off on your partner. Like you are testing your fucking partner and you're testing this fucking choice. Somebody is just, it's like a wave of a mo like a roller coaster. Like nobody can keep the fuck up with you, you know? Or this is somebody, this is somebody else. This is a water sign, an air sign. This could be you just kind of like, somebody could be having like a nervous breakdown. Somebody could be having a panic attack. Stress could be too much for you. You may be having, dealing with a lot of responsibility and maybe too much for you. There's some sort of fight about when are we gonna get married? When is there gonna be a commitment? When are things are gonna be moving forward? The Ace of Swords here, this is fucking clarity. This is a turning point. This is a spiritual awakening. This is like finally shit is clicking. Finally, this is a choice that's clicking. But I, this is gonna be good though, because you are moving forward. You may have just said like, fuck this job and you went with something else. Okay. And Sagittarius. So I've got the eight of wands here. I've got the Empress card reverse and I got the four of swords here. Okay, so some of you may have downloaded a dating app and like you're trying to go after like a polyamorous couple or something. I don't know why. It's like somebody's attached, somebody's involved. Somebody may have kids. Um, you may be speaking to somebody, you know, that's, you know, that's divorced and has kids or whatever. You know, you've been looking for a job. You're gonna get that job. So if if you've been putting the if you put the time and energy into it, you will get it. Right? Hitting the pavements, putting out those applications. You're not. The thing is, though, you're not feeling good about yourself. You kind of feel like shit. You kind of feel like, oh, I've gained weight, and you know, uh, you know, you're picking apart about everything about you, and you feel like what's wrong about you. Is you not feeling the vibe, you feeling not mellow, you're not feeling like the dude. It could be some sort of injury, like I'm seeing some sort of like back injury. It could be like on medical leave, on stress, FMLA. Some of you may just go on a vacation, you know, cause you're just like not there. Some, you just don't feel conf confident. Like you may have gotten the job, but you gotta like fake it until you make it kind of thing. You're being very hesitant. You're, you're doubting yourself and your abilities. Some of you just like, I'm gonna say it Sagittarius, some of you are just lazy as fuck. You just don't wanna work. You just wanna be like, you just wanna be that asshole that like, plays video games all day and eat fucking Cheetos and does fucking work and collect like unemployment or some shit. Right? Some of you just want to work at home, be a freelancer, not do shit. Or you just want like a sugar daddy to take care of everything. And to be frank, we all want a sugar daddy to take care of us. So. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and give a general collective reading in the room. 
And anybody that watches this in the next 24 hours. Okay, somebody's gonna be read to filth. Like an offer's gonna be made. And somebody's gonna be read to filth. So I've got the King of Pentacles reverse. Some of you could be unemployed, you may have lost your job, you may have gotten a pink slip. Some of you are not feeling high in your game, you're just feeling disconnected with your family, with your friends, you don't feel grounded, like your house may be kind of a mess, um, there may be like a lot of arguing or fighting in the household. Yeah, th there could be a divorce with an earth sign with you and your partner, like your soulmate, your connection. Look, okay. Okay, bottom of the deck is the three of cups here, followed by the ace of cups. Okay, so one of you fell in love with one, like your friends or a colleague or whomever. There's some sort of three-party situation. Clearly, somebody was in love with someone else. Somebody left someone for someone else. Okay, you standing all alone here. There's two, this is interesting. We have two kings and two queens. This is about a decision, Ex um, excuse me, this is about power and this is about authority. So there is like, somebody was, there's two people that were married. I don't know if you guys were into swapping or polyamorous open relationship whatever but the two couples from the other side decided to leave right decided like we want to be with each other now and they just split off i don't know why i'm getting that but i'm getting that it was like you may know this person like you may be close to this individual like they've been in your life for years and stuff like that because the justice card libra vibe reverse this is like a divorce an ending of a relationship with the queen of pentacles this is a matching set they're a divorce Bye bye, right? Because she wasn't getting what she wanted. King of Swords, Aquarius. Somebody's not getting what they want, right? They're speaking their truth. Somebody, she's like, I don't feel comfortable. I don't feel like a queen in my palace. This Aquarius suits me better. They're speaking their truth. I have to go through this transition, this change with the Scorpio vibe here. Because this is the end of us, baby but I'm starting something new with another and I only have like less than two minutes. Okay, so then we got the queen of wands here. So this is being independent, staying on your own. This could have been like a partner leaving for the queen of wands with the fire sign, with the Sagittarius. With the 10 of cups here, this is about happiness, trying to fulfill that family life. Some of you are faking happiness. Some of you will be, as you're going through this change, this transition where you don't feel like yourself, you're gonna eventually become like a hot ass motherfucker and you're gonna be happy as shit, all right? And good things are gonna happen to you, but this ending, the saga is not over, right? So stay tuned. So hopefully these readings resonate with you. Hopefully you enjoyed the deck. Thank you, I love you guys and namaste, peace.